What's Tuesday got to do with it? An old puzzle goes like this. A family has two children. Given that one of them is a boy and that he was born on a Tuesday, what is the probability that both children are boys? Calculator-free operation. As promised, I will try to get the correct answer without explicitly calculating a thing. Let me go one step at a time. Let us start. Since the family has two children, we know to have two nodes as follows. The first child is either a boy or a girl, and the second child is either a boy or a girl. And next, there is this funny business of being born on a Tuesday. What are the chances? Well, whoever he or she may be, they were born on one day of the week. So let's represent it this way. To be clear, I merely entered the possible days of the week and Netika assumes rightly that they are equally possible. So one over seven is 14.3. Now, likewise for the second child. The second child is born on one of these days of the week. Now the first child is thus either a boy or a girl and born on one of those seven days. We first want to know, what is the probability the first child is a Tuesday boy, meaning a boy born on Tuesday? As far as Netika, my Bayesian calculator is concerned, the first child is a Tuesday boy is either true or false. So we create a Boolean node with that question in mind, and we create a link. So we create or we link the two nodes this way, and then we enter into its brain. The way we read this is, if this is true to some degree, and this is true to some degree, well then this is going to be true to some degree. But we need to specify that. We need to tell Netika, what is a Tuesday boy anyway? So this truth table is fundamental. This is part of its brain. We need to tell Netika what a Tuesday boy is in terms of what is true or false. And at first, its mind is blank. And now we simply enter the following facts. We simply say, okay, look, if the first boy, if the first child rather is a boy and born on Monday, well then, first child is a Tuesday boy is false. If on the other hand, the first child is a boy, but born on Tuesday, well then, the first child is indeed a Tuesday boy. Anything else makes this truth table false. Check, check. And Netika computes the updated result. It combined this and this, now knowing what a Tuesday boy is, it gives me this as the updated probability. And likewise for the second child. Moving on. Let's not forget what we were doing. We needed to represent what is given. Namely, they have at least one boy born on Tuesday. Initially, that's just either true or false, but we need to connect that to what else we know. So we connect this node to the earlier two nodes. And we say this, right? If the first child is a Tuesday boy to some degree, and the second child is a Tuesday boy to some degree, well, then there will be at least one boy born on Tuesday to some degree. But we need to teach it a bit about what that means. So once more, we do some brain surgery. We tell Netika what it means to have at least one boy born on Tuesday. As before, its mind is blank. And after, it knows the truth. We say, look, if the first child is a Tuesday boy and the second child is a Tuesday boy, well, then, of course, it's true that there is a boy born on Tuesday. Similarly, if the first child is a Tuesday boy, but not the second child, still, there is at least one boy born on Tuesday, so on and so forth. 
If it's false, and that's false, well then of course, that's false. There is no boy born on Tuesday. Once entered, Netica computes the result. And from this and this, we get this. Now, this is what we have so far, linking everything we've got. These are the two nodes for the first child, the two nodes for the second child. And this relates these two nodes, and this relates these two nodes. And then this relates this node and this node. But we need one more thing. To remind you, I've not entered a single number myself, right? But we haven't answered the question yet. What it is the posterior probability that they have two boys? Again, as far as Netica is concerned, the Bayesian calculator, it's initially either true or false. We need, again, to get into its brain. So how shall we connect that to our prior nodes? Well, clearly the probability is in function of the two prior nodes. And Netica needs to be told what this means. Once again, we get into its brain. We enter a simple truth. If your first child is a boy and your second child is a boy, well, then you have two boys. Before, its mind again is blank. And after, it knows the truth. We say, look, if the first child is a boy and the second child is a boy, well, then the probability that you have two boys is 100%. It is true. Otherwise, it's false. That simple. Check. Now, our Bayesian calculator computes the new result and says, well, in that case, the probability of having two boys is 25%, as expected. Now, we connect everything, and we've got our Bayesian network. Now, we need to enter our actual finding, namely the actual fact that we have been told that this family does in fact have at least one boy born on Tuesday. And that we will enter over here. So for the moments now that you've been waiting for, we are going to enter, it'll be in green, and we will note the updated probability of having two boys, which is as follows. So there we have it. We've entered that it is in fact true they do have at least one boy born on Tuesday. And it updates and tells me, well, the probability of having two boys is now updated to 48.1%. Notice that all the other probabilities have been updated and I haven't had to calculate anything myself, right? From this, it updates this and this updates that. And this is updated exactly as you would expect. If there is indeed at least one boy born on Tuesday, well then this probability goes up. And similarly over here, the probability that the second child is born on a Tuesday also goes up. And similarly, the probability that one or the other, perhaps both, is a boy has gone up knowing that there is at least one boy. So this node is not directly connected to this one, but indirectly. Two things to note, right? The green node is only indirectly connected to the node above it. That's the thing about Bayesian networks in that information can propagate backward into the other. And a final reminder, notice that all the probabilities have been updated accordingly, but I haven't done any calculations myself. Netica, the Bayesian calculator, has done all that for me. 